At this morning session, we were discussing the management of frailer patients with relapsed refractory disease or patients who live in community settings and really need oral therapies as opposed to complicated or more sophisticated um, access to tertiary centers for inpatient stays and so on. And so therefore, cell mods are such an interesting and exciting new area. These are all oral, of course. Uh, Ibertamide, which is the first in, in the group to have been uh, studied in the relapsed refractory setting, is now moving up front. Um, the more powerful Powerful um, relapse refractory drug of choice, we hope, will turn out to be mazigdamide. Um, this is particularly powerful in relapse refractory disease. We've established a one milligram three weeks on, one week off schedule for when we're just using mazigdamide with dexamethasone. When we combine it with other key drugs such as bortezomib or carfilzomib, or for that matter, antibody therapy, you can afford to dose it at a lower level uh, and see tremendous activity. But what we showed above all with the mazigdamide dex, just a two, two drugs. Drugs, you know, the mesigdomide with low dose dexamethasone. We showed that in triple class refractory patients um, and in BCMA exposed to patients and those patients with extramedullary disease, we showed impressive activity. Um, specifically for the group overall, it was around a 41% response rate, even though they were all so heavily pretreated. But if we looked at the BCMA exposed patients, which included antibody drug conjugate exposure, bispecifics and CAR-T, we were able to show in that group of exquisitely vulnerable patients a response rate in excess of 50%, which is very exciting. Um, for patients with extramedullary disease, recognizing that's a particularly challenging group of patients to treat, we saw a response rate of over 30%. So again, this was really exciting because it suggests to us we've got an all-oral approach with a manageable safety profile and that could be very promising in this setting.